So in this video we're going to go over an example of how to simplify a matrix expression. So here we have a matrix expression. We have uh, matrices A and B. We want to assume that all operations are possible. So in fact let's go ahead and assume that A and B let's assume A and B are both n by n square matrices. It's, a, it's an expression because there's no equal sign in it. And what we want to do is use the properties of matrices that we saw in video 2 to simplify this. So we'll start here. We have B times some stuff in parentheses. So the distributive property will be used. And we're going to do this in painful detail. So this is going to be B times twice A minus distribute the B into parentheses here. So we get B times BA plus distribute this B into the parentheses. We're going to get B times 4 I sub N, where I sub N is the, the uh, N by N square identity matrix, matrix <clears throat> plus B times 5A. And this is all still times this other B. And then we have minus 3BAB plus 7b squared a. And here what we want to notice is that the 2 is a scalar. So this, the order of scalar multiplication doesn't matter. So the 2 can be moved out front so that we get 2 times b times a. And we want to remember that matrix multiplication isn't commutative. So we can't rewrite ba. We cannot rewrite ba as ab. Sometimes that might be true, but most of the time this would be uh, a non-equality, the majority of the time. So we get minus, <clears throat> and here we, uh, we have a product of three matrices, so we can use the associative property to do B times B times A, reassociating these terms, plus and here we have 4 times b times i sub n. So the 4 is a scalar and can be pulled to the front. So it's b times i sub n plus the scalar can be moved into the front position. Scalar multiplication is commutative. So we get 5b a. And this is all still times the b that needs to be distributed into the parentheses. We have minus 3BAB plus 7B squared A. So here I have 2BA. I'm just going to bring this down for right now. 2BA minus B times B because it's a square, because B is a square matrix, I can rewrite it as B squared times A plus 4 times B times the identity matrix is just B. This is going to have a parentheses in front of it, and it's going to be plus 5BA. We have the B out here that still needs to be distributed, minus 3BAB plus 7B squared A. And now we want to look and see, can anything be simplified yet? I uh, don't think so. Oh yeah, here we have um, minus b squared a plus 7b squared a. So I'm going to bring this down to b a minus b squared a plus 7b squared a. And I can do these because uh, addition is both com uh, commutative and associative. So I can have a lot of freedom with addition. So minus b squared a plus 7b squared a is plus 6b squared a. Plus, now I'm going to distribute this B in. So I'm going to get my 4B times B plus 5BA times B using the distributive property minus 3BAB plus 7B squared A. <clears throat> get 2BA plus 6B squared A plus the 4 uh, this can be regrouped using the associative property, so the scalar can be grouped like that, and we can get b times b inside of parentheses, plus 5 times the b a b, or just or just 5 
BAB. Don't, I can drop that parenthesis that is, is associating those terms. Minus three BAB plus seven B squared A. And then right here, this is really, we'll do, two, do this in two more lines, plus the six B squared A plus four, this is B squared. Because B is a square matrix, B times B is B squared. If B isn't a square matrix, then that isn't true. Plus, we have the five BAB minus three BAB. Those could have been combined right there. Seven B squared A. So now we want to look and say, can we combine anything else? So two BA, is there any other BA term? And there isn't, so that's as simplified as it can get. Here I have a six B squared A. Is there another B squared A term? There is down here, so this can be combined with this. And then what we want to recognize is that this and this cannot be rewritten as b squared a because we can't change the order of the multiplications. We're accustomed to having things like this, x, y, x, and being able to rewrite it as x squared y. But because we're working with matrices and the order of multiplication matters, we can't do that. I am not allowed to, if I have x, y, x with matrices, we're not allowed to rewrite it as x x, y, which then gives you the x squared y. We can't do that. So here I have plus 6b squared a plus 7b squared a is going to be 13b squared a. And I have a 4b squared. I don't have any other b squared terms. And I think we have everything going on here, do we? Or are we still missing the BAB? We have the five, oh, we haven't done the BAB yet. So five BAB minus three BAB is gonna be plus two BAB. And that would be as far as we could simplify this um, in this particular example. Usually you wouldn't show this much detail. I was really trying to use the properties from video two, but usually you would do, take the same types of mental shortcuts that you do when you're working through regular, your regular algebra courses.